So I think we are ready now for the uni. Um, I will most probably go by walk uh, because it's just like 800 meters away from my dorm or else if we have time I can take a bus and directly go to the nearest. We can go to the nearest library. Realistically speaking I got late today like i woke up at 9 and it's 10 9 so usually it's not a perfect day always uh, today i was shooting a video that's why it took a time but that shouldn't be reason for not making a schedule a schedule basically helps you to keep yourself on track and uh, yeah i think we will uh, move now because we are 10 minutes late with our schedule I think we can catch up with the portion today, but uh, let's see. We have a bus in like three minutes, and the bus stop is just in front of the building. So I think we can catch it. I hope so. Yeah, we are almost here. That was our bus, but we couldn't cross because of the traffic. It's not India. Like we can just move our traffic, but I think we can. Yes, we can. So we are heading towards chemistry library in RPT like which is the most I think that is the most what to say well lit library like there is a lot of glass and there is a lot of peace in this library yeah so the first study session we'll do here and we will study non-linear non -linear and adaptive control best thing to have as a university student like get yourself a MagSafe what do you say MagSafe wallet and a MagSafe case so you can put your ID cards and other things in it <laughs>
just finished our first study session in the chemistry library at RPTU. Now we will go to Menza. So Menza is basically the canteen of our college. Like Menza means canteen in Germany. <laughs> so today we have chicken nuggets and something. So let's see. Uh, I will show how our Menza looks like. So Lidl is like a supermarket where you can buy your groceries from and it's just like a walking distance from the university and Lidl is like Dmart of uh, Germany we can say that so the update is like I studied a bit of non-linear I couldn't do EHV which was the target for today but uh, Fortunately, I was getting the grasp of non-linear better today, so I extended the plan and did non-linear for around 5 hours today. But I would like to say in this 5 hours, I could complete only 3, maybe 3 sums, but the concept was like the same, but it's so humbling that for five hours I could just do three sums at first but now I get the grasp that it's not a race to complete the highest number of questions it depends upon the understanding what I have about the question and maybe in exam or like few days I will simulate or emulate the exam environment and try to finish number of sum in the given time let's see and regarding the other subject I will try to include some study session maybe tomorrow 
Uh, let's see. So I have my exam in like 18 days. And uh, for the last 10 days, I will solve the previous year questions with timer. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, like uh, this is a realistic day in life. Hence, I forgot to bring my carry bag and now I will need to take the paper bag with me. Just the daily things which you forget as a human. And there is never a concrete schedule but we try to follow it. Now we are going towards the bus stop then where it will directly take me to the nearest bus stop of, of my dorm. I'm constantly checking my jacket. I hope it's good. Yeah. Huh. The struggle they don't see. So we are bra bra back. We are back at our crib. Yeah. So we will eat something and then go towards gym. So we took a good amount of rest and we ate some pre-workout meals. And uh, now we will head towards the gym. Today is leg day. So see you at the gym. gym session I guess we missed the golden hour but the sky is still pretty yeah. anyways I'd say it was a good leg workout session um, I did squats like uh, four sets of squats I did uh, three reps for 90 kgs and around um, 8 reps for 80 kgs I guess that aligns to my goal like which is to squat 100 in coming months uh, but let's see I feel a bit of pain in my hip area but I don't know it will heal with time huh. so I guess 
that's a wrap for today's day i will now cook my meal so i basically cook my meal for like today's dinner and tomorrow's lunch like i know it's for uh, they are just two meals but i want to try to make some more so that i could so that i could sustain for around Three days, maximum. Like, I cook once, and it lasts for three days. 